What is a movie producer? What exactly do they do? And what is the difference between a director and a producer? And why on earth are there like eight different kinds of producers listed on a movie and like a dozen different producers with credits on a film? My name is John Campia, and in this installment of the Campia Classroom, we're going to try to demystify the function, role, and importance of a movie producer. A motion picture producer is a jack of all trades, the conductor of a crazy chaotic symphony, bringing together all the disparate elements of a film and turning them hopefully into a beautiful harmonious whole. That's the producer. As a quick overview, some of the functions of a producer might include, but are certainly not limited to, coming up with the idea for a movie, either by original idea, optioning an existing screenplay, securing the rights to an existing IP or property, Hiring a writer or writers to develop that script. Hire the director who will be the creative visionary for the film and in some cases reach out to famous known actors to attach them to the project. They oversee the creation of the pitch deck to take and present to studios and production companies. They oversee the creation of a budget for the project. They provide or secure financing for the movie. Hire other key staff and team members. Working with the studio in overseeing the distribution and marketing of a film. They oversee the entire pre-production, production, and post-production of a film. All that and a thousand things more. Overall, the movie producer is the driving force behind the film, making sure that all the elements come together to create a successful and hopefully profitable project. The producer makes sure that the entire production runs smoothly. Their goal is to keep on a very complex and detailed schedule. At any moment, some unforeseen circumstances can threaten to torpedo the entire schedule, which will cost the production millions of dollars, which the producer must then try to figure out how to make up the difference. Throughout the entirety of principal photography, the producer steers the cast and crew through stormy waters and grueling hours of production, keeping everyone on the same course to make their days and complete their work. That oversight continues all the way through production and then the post-production, working with production companies, distribution companies, PR, marketing, and ultimately, they are the ones accountable for a film coming in on time, on budget, and hopefully on target. Okay, so if that is a producer, then why are so many producers and different kinds of producers often listed for a film? The reality is, is that a lot of people can get a producer's credit while actually not doing very much on a movie. Maybe an actor wanted a producer's credit. Maybe somebody helped facilitate a meeting being able to acquire the rights to a story. Or maybe some well-known filmmaker gets their name in the credits just to make the film look more prestigious to investors or production companies. But there are also some very legitimate people who also work on a film that earn some kind of producer's credit, especially when you consider just how big of a job a producer is. Some producer credits you'll often see on a film can be ones like these. Executive producer. Now, this can mean different things, but often an executive producer is most focused on the money, providing the money or getting the money for a film. Sometimes the executive producer is appointed by the studio or production company to act on their behalf to oversee and monitor the work of the producers in developing a movie. Then there's the co-producer. This is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Someone who works with the producer to assist or handle certain aspects of the production. They do the work of the producer either on a smaller scale or maybe they're a little bit more inexperienced. Then you get the associate producer. An associate producer is a below-the-line producer that works under the supervision of another producer. They are often referred to as the AP. They assist another producer in putting a film together. Not altogether different from the co-producer role, but generally they rank a little bit lower on the flow chart. Then you have line producer. Now, from a business and logistics perspective, there aren't many people as important to a movie as the line producer. They are the taskmasters of the film, making sure it stays on time and most importantly, on budget. They're the ones responsible for breaking down the script to create line items in a budget, planning a production timeline, coordinating the schedules and activities of various departments, and handling human resources. They run the production office, hire the below-the-line crew, sometimes with the help of a unit production manager, and make sure the day-to-day -day operations run smoothly. So as you can see, there are a lot of different roles to play under the moniker of a producer. But in the end, there is still the producer. The person or persons who ultimately carry the majority of the responsibility in bringing a movie into existence. These are the ones who stand on stage and accept the Oscar if their movie wins Best Picture that year. But how can you tell the difference about who is the producer and who is not? 
Who's the producer amongst all the various producers credited? Well, there are two things to look for in the credits. First is the credit that reads produced by. If you see produced by in the credits, you're probably looking at the producer or producers. The second thing to look for is something called the producer's mark. The producer's mark are these letters, P-G-A, after the producer's name. Well, who decides if somebody gets this producer's mark in the credits? Well, the Producers Guild of America, the PGA, has a specific set of rules and guidelines called the Code of Credits. The Code of Credits verifies whether or not a producer has earned the produced by credit. If the credit is submitted to the PGA for approval and the person or people with the produced by credit meet certain criteria, they are given the producer's mark, which is the small PGA letters next to his or her name in the credits. So, there you have it, guys. This is who a producer is and what it is they do, or at least in theory. As I said, the credit of producer can be nebulous and in Hollywood, sometimes a little confusing and they blur the lines a little bit. And at the same time, a little bit interchangeable. But I hope this little rundown clarifies at least a little bit what it is a producer does. My name's John Campia. Thanks for joining us, guys. And we'll see you in the next one.